Okay, here is the 2015 diesel Turig I was telling you about. It is dirty, but I'm not seeing a lot of, actually I'm not seeing really any rock chips or anything on it. It does have some really decent, I don't know if you can tell by the tread there. It's got some, some good tires on it and it's got fog lights in the front. I don't see a lot of rock chips. It's, it's hard to tell in this video and because it's white, this is just all bug guts and stuff and it will, it will clean up very, very nicely. Um, I'm not seeing a lot of rock chips either, like on this area, usually these, these areas up here can get, you know, uh, pitted with rock chips, but I'm not seeing that. It does have the mud flaps there uh, to prevent rock chips from on the rocker panels, which are in nice shape, which is really good. Couple tiny, tiny little little things here, but those can be those can be touched up. Um, I think this here can be buffed out as well too. And it does have uh, the sensors for backup sensors. So it's going to tell you if you're gonna hit something when you're backing up. It does have a power lift gate that you can activate from the fob or inside the vehicle. There's the power button there if you are wanting to, uh, to close it that way. Um, it does come with an extra set of rims, which is super nice. And those uh, seats there will go down. So the seats will go down and give you a nice flat, flat surface. It's also got a hitch if you ever wanted to tow something that's not too awfully heavy. Let's just shut that. Move around here. You've got your cross rails on the top if you wanted to put skis or something like that on it. But like I said, I don't see any visible damage. It's, it looks really, really good. It does have, and again, keep in mind that it has not been detailed, but it's got WeatherTech mats that need a good scrub. But it also has the uh, power driver's seat, which is super nice because you can lift yourself up uh, over the steering wheel so you can you know, get comfortable at the height that you want. It's got memory seating, which was really good. And it's got three memory seats, which is great because most only have two. And there is the power lift gate button for the interior. And then over here, so this is your, your cruise control, your lights, uh, Bluetooth is here. Uh, this is the uh, steering wheel controls that are con gonna control that instrument cluster. Has 193,000 kilometers. It sounds like a lot, but for a diesel, it really isn't. Um, diesels have a history of really good longevity. And uh, these Touregs, once it's cleaned up, I'll be advertising and I don't think it will last long because they're very, very popular. You've got lots of cool little storage. There's a little storage thing there. You've got your heated steering wheel. And this is kind of cool because what it does is it gives you the optical parking system. So if you were, for example, if I was gonna put it in reverse, not only is it going to show me the guidelines uh, if I was going to turn which way the vehicle would go, there's a camera too there that would that would move as well. Um, you've got heated seats down here, individual climate control. Um, let me see. We do have. I go into band. Oops, there's my fingernail in the way. You've got AM, FM, and it is Sirius uh, compatible as well. And then up here. Uh, these are, this is a garage door opener. If you have a garage door, you can program that in so you don't have to have that fob. Um, those are the uh, sunroof controls for this beautiful, gorgeous sunroof. And it does have a shade that will cover it. So if you don't want to have the, all that natural light coming in, you can put the shade down. Um, you've got another, a little cubby right here. And you've also got, um, your console that's here and then there's a couple things I wanted to show you in the back which is kind of a couple cool little features I think are neat um, back here in the back so you have you can control each each vent so each person has their own vent you can shut or open it whatever you'd like to do but in here you've also got some plugins so that makes it kind of Kind of handy but what i thought was really neat is underneath the rear seats on both sides and here's the dirt you're seeing but there's a light so I've, I've actually never seen that i thought that was actually really really cool to be able to have a light so that your people in the back are not always fumbling for everything and uh you've got a rest there an armrest if you've got adults or kids or whatever and you got your drink tray there 
So yeah, I'm not really sure what else I can show you about it. I feel like it's going to clean up absolutely beautiful. Um, I think that it's a nice, good, solid, reliable vehicle. Um, from my experience, these diesels have a really good history of longevity. And like I say, I'm not seeing it all pitted with a bunch of rock chips or anything like that. Uh, the windshield looks good. It does have, I'm not exactly sure what that is. Maybe some kind of a deflector possibly to protect the sunroof. But it's white with the black leather. Um, it's gonna be fuel efficient, so Hopefully we might have a winner, so let me know and uh, yeah, we'll talk to you soon. Okay, thanks.